Okay, we're going to work on uh, creating page numbers now, as well as figuring out how to use certain kinds of styles, like character styles and uh, paragraph styles. So, first thing we want to do if we're going to make a um, uh, some page numbers is we want to go ahead and click up here on our A master master page. So we want to just double click that, and this will bring up. Remember, anytime you're working on the master pages, you're really working on kind of a separate entity that is then applied to these other pages. So what we want to do is we want to grab a text box, just create and click a little kind of long text box like this one down here in the bottom left. And then that's going to place text there. And if we place like high on this, high would appear on all of our pages that we applied this to. But what we're going to do instead is we're going to go up here to type and we're going to go to insert special character. We're going to go to marker and we're going to go to current page number. So we're just going to tell the um, InDesign that this master page we want to make sure we have a, um, a page number applied there and it's just going to give you an A which is fine that's that's just what you want. Um, you also want to go over here to the second master page we want to go ahead and like kind of a and uh, draw another text box there. We want to do the same thing we want to go up here and go to type uh, insert marker current page number but this time we want to um, write justify it. So come up here in the paragraph area and you'll see this align write button. So we want to push that. <clears throat> so now we should have, you know, an A here and an A there. And that's basically going to give us our current um, page number. So if you click down here on this, you'll see that my first page, which is basically the front cover, is going to have no master page applied to it. But if I grab it and drag that down there, it should give me that master page. If I want to get rid of it, I can click here and go back over and you'll see it gets rid of it. So here we have page two um, on my second page. I don't really want page one on my first page, right? Page three should have page three. If I click through the rest of these, you'll see four, five, six, seven. Then when I get down here to page eight, it has the eight has the page number on it, but I don't want that. That'll be the back cover. So I'm just going to click and drag the none down here and and that'll get rid of that page number. So now I have my page number supplied. Everything is all set. Um, so now I just want to go ahead and um, work on adding in some text. So let's say I had some body text that I wanted to add. If this is my cover, this would be the first page inside the booklet. So I'll just go ahead and drag, dr click and drag and draw a text box that kind of fills up some of the page like that. And what you can do is you can cut and paste text off of out of Word documents. You can Anyway, you can type it, whatever you want to do, but if you wanted to place text in here, you would just go up to File, Place, and we would go to our Word document. So I'm going to grab a Word document that I've got in here. It has a bunch of um, you know, body text that's in it. And I'll just click Open on that. And what it'll do now is it should just, it'll give me a whole bunch of like options, and you guys can figure out how to, how to do this as you click through it. I'm just going to go ahead and um, just click OK, and it's just going to dump all of that text in there for me. You can just hit close on this because the my my uh, uh, software doesn't have the typeface that was used. We'll just click OK. And you can see it's just kind of dumped the text in there. And there's a whole lot more text in here than we have space for. And so one of the things that you're allowed to do in InDesign is if you click over here on page three, you can draw another text box. So let's draw another text box uh, in there. And you can see here that there's this little red kind of arrow or uh, plus sign right here. If you click on that, then you drag over and click on another text box. It'll fill that text box and continue the text from one side over to the other. So it's supposed to anyway. No. Oops. There you go. Okay. So it's supposed to, so it should do that easier for you than it did for me just there, but you get the gist of it. So it's now continuing that the text of that paper uh, that I cut and pasted the text out of over into this next one. And you can always resize your text box and it'll reconfigure the text to fit inside of it. So you can do this inside of an oval, a square, a triangle, whatever you want to, shapes you want to build, you can dump your text into it. Okay, you can see this looks terrible right now, like it hasn't brought over formatting very well. It's kind of all messed up. So I'll have to go through and fix that. Um, but that's basically how you use text boxes. So you can link the text back and forth. There's all kinds of different things that you can do. Um, 
<clears throat> and you can see that this is my cover, right? And this would be page two, this would be page three. So this would be my first spread. So let's say I wanted to take the uh, this um, this random fury thing here, and I want to drag that up there. Just I'm going to copy that, and then I'm going to just make a new a new text box, right? Let's put that in there. And since everything in this, I generally tend to work in Helvetica. I'm going to go up here and convert this text into Helvetica. Helvetica bold. Um, I could change it from left justified to center justified. I'll go ahead and do that. I can increase the typeface. Let's say I want to make my headings up. I'm going to make them um, 28 point. Um, nope, probably 24 point for this. So it fits, right? Okay. So now I have this. I can go in there and add the spacing that's kind of messed up. Um, I can also uh, you know, capitalize everything if I want to. Uh, I thought that would be better. Okay, so if that text looks the way I want it to, I can just kind of highlight it now. And if you go to your window or your view, you go to window, you'll see that there's a spot you can go to styles. So you want to make sure that you select styles, and that'll kick that out over here. And you can see that there's um, paragraph styles and character styles. <clears throat> so what I want to do is I want to change this uh, 24 point type into a style that I can just apply all over the place wherever I want to inside my. InDesign file. So I'm going to, once I have the text set the way I want it to, I'm going to click on the new character style button here. That's going to bring up this dialog box and I can click through here and change any of these things. If I want to make sure this text is always in red, I could do that. And then you just rename it. So I'm going to call it uh, 24 points, right? And then I just will, uh, I'll click OK and you can see that that'll now populate over here. And if I want, I can select any of the rest of this type, and I can hit Helvetica 24 point, and it should automatically change that into uh, 24, 24 point type. So <clears throat> it's a way just basically to, if you have sort of a typeface look that you want to make sure that you, uh, you're you keeping, you can go ahead and just make a character style, and that'll just adjust every single character that you apply that typeface to. Okay, so those are character styles, paragraph or paragraph styles are kind of allowing you, they allow you to apply certain um, parameters to every different, to everything that happens within a paragraph. So uh, again, if I make a selection here, um, let's just say I'm gonna make this, uh, this its own paragraph. I can just select all of this, typeface. <clears throat> and I can go ahead and do the same thing. So maybe I'll change this to Helvetica, but instead of Helvetica bold, I'm gonna go Helvetica light. And I wanna make it, 14 point. Um, I could do anything else I wanted to, change the color, anything like that that I wanted to. And once I get that set and make it look the way I want to, I can click over here and go to um, oops, let's see. Uh, sorry, paragraph styles. I can go uh, click on that and I can say new paragraph style. And again, I can call this Vetica 14 point. Click OK on that, and that just means that if I click any anything in here uh, and click on it, it'll change that whole, it'll change the entire uh, paragraph that's selected into that particular text. So this can be really helpful if you have headings or uh, different things like that that you want to make sure that you're um, checking in on. So that's the basics of how to work with text as well as how to work with character styles and paragraph styles.